These voices are not real. What you're hearing is AI-generated content. These voices are intended for entertainment purposes only. Now watch me kick Sleepy Joe's butt at whatever game we're playing this video. Unless if they're on a team. Anyway, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. All right, everyone, before we start doing this video, I just want to be very clear that no one is going to reference about Donald being shot. So let's get it out of the way, especially now that Taylor is back on a one-off. I didn't say that I would be back for this episode only, Barry. I'm back for good. Now that football season is back again. Oh, what? This is ridiculous. I don't want her here. Well, too bad, Haley. Looks like you're the only one who's mad about her being here, so lighten up a little, won't you? Yeah, this episode has been a long time coming for me. Time to defend the crown. The only crown that will be won today is when I win with Bibby Watt today. Mm-hmm. We'll see, Joe. We'll see. Well, looks like I'm back, and I already know who I'm going to play as. Just let me explain the rules, Ben, and then we can get started. You know, we need a four-person video sometime. We can't keep doing all these six- and eight-person videos, just like the good old days. You'll have to wait and see, Ariana. But for now, let's have fun doing the Home Run Derby. All right, Barry, I think we're all ready. Explain the rules, please. Same rules as last year, ladies go first. Why with this ladies first crap, no civilry should be allowed here. Shut up, Donnie, let us pick our players. I got my boy on my team, Christopher Morrell. Not surprising that Ariana chose a Chicago Cub this year. Someone that needs their flowers is the polar bear, Pete Alonso. I am honestly surprised that no one chose him last year. Well, I'll choose Shohei. He's got to be in the Derby for obvious reasons. That was the same player Brett chose last year. Funny enough. Let's go. It's our turn now. I'm going to pick Kyle Schwarber. Wait, what? I thought you were going to choose Bobby Witt. Schwarby is way better, Ariana. He hits bombs. Honestly, I'm surprised, and I'm not surprised at the same time. I'll choose William Contreras as I will represent the creator's favorite team for the second year in a row. Well, you know I have to choose the most recent LCS MVP and pick Adolis Garcia. He is on my Rangers that I used to own. Fake news, George, and stop saying that. It's getting old real quick. Well, I'll go ahead and pick Nolan Gorman. He has about 20 home runs so far this season, and he's a really underrated power hitter. Who the hell is he? He's a nobody, Ben. Come on, Haley. Don't tell me you watch baseball without telling me you watch baseball. Well, unlike you, Ben, I don't obsess over shitty overrated players. He is on the Cardinals, by the way, Haley. You, I said Cardinals. They suck. Feelings mutual, Ariana. Well, Donald, you're the last one to go, so who are you going to take? I didn't think about it until now, but I have to take Aaron Judge. All rise to the mighty Trump as I damn sure will win this year's home run derby. Welp, if everyone has picked their players, then let's get to it. Welcome to the Home Run Derby. Eight hitters will battle head-to-head -head in a single elimination bracket. In each round, the contestants will be given two minutes to hit as many home runs as possible. If a contestant hits two home runs 440 feet or further, they will earn an additional 30 seconds of bonus time. I'm just going to say that I am so bummed that Bibby Watt did not win the home run derby like he was so close to winning or at least tying. It was a matter of inches, everyone said. That's what she said, Sleepy Joe. And my boy Adolis Garcia couldn't even get out of the first round. I honestly felt like the Home Run Derby was scripted in some way. Well, the Home Run Derby had a new format this year. In my opinion, that bonus round is really stupid. They should just stick with what this game has. It's simple and everyone is used to it. Well, Ben, it's not about you. It's about the fans. Take my tour, for example. They come all the way to see me and stay for three plus hours. Isn't that insane, Ben? I guess, but what I'm amazed about is the long pauses between each sentence. It does suck, Joe. T. Oscar winning the Derby should be a good thing because he had his old teammate and friend Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Who will be a Cub by the end of the trade deadline? Ariana, that little winning streak the Cubs had is a fluke. They won't make the playoffs or finish above 500. Barry, I want to make another comment. You should have definitely got rid of the yellow dots because unlike last year, everyone is going to get the 30 second bonus time. And that means the video is going to be longer. What had happened last year in the Home Run Derby? Did someone use PDs before they played or what? Nah, we caught Ariana cheating on her ex-husband last year, but we put it under the rug this year. One of our New Year's resolutions is that we make sure Donald doesn't mention it one bit. So far this year, he's been pretty good at it. Oh yeah, I do remember seeing that in last year's video. I think you guys were overreacting on that. The orange man wanted to win against Ariana badly for about a month. If you keep it up, Joe, we're gonna settle this debate with some EA Sports College Football 25. Not a plug or sponsorship, by the way. I hope that game has my Texas Rangers. I own them, of course. Well, Taylor, you hit 12 homers. You think that's good enough to win? With how Pete Alonso did in the actual derby and how passionate George is using Adolis Garcia, 
I don't like my chances. To correct you, Taylor, it's Adolis Garcia. And I hope I don't cause beef with you simply because of a stupid game. You're good, George. Having beef with someone is the last thing on my mind right now. Gotta think positively, why now? So are we playing the new college football video game or not? Is it even good? Oh, for sure it's good. It's more fluid than Madden, but in my humble opinion, I think that we can make sure that we'll have more fun playing that game than Madden. Believe me, Ben. Simply playing one game will satisfy your needs so much that you won't ever want to drop the controller and you will skip days to go on your stupid podcast just to play the new college football video game. I want to play as the, the, I don't know what team to play, I'll just play as Notre Dame. Deng Ben, you're cutting it close. I want to play as the Badgers, do an Army versus Navy game. I want to play as the Crimson Tide. There are so many fun teams to play as. Not really, Ariana, the fun teams are usually the best teams on the game. Well, GG's George. Is it okay if I stay then, Barry? Sure, I would appreciate that. You can tell some of your favorite things that happened while you were on tour. Well, looks like the next round is me against Ariana. I got a question for some of Ye, and I'm sure it's a really good one. Who is your least favorite MLB team right now? Or what team do you hate the most? The Milwaukee Brewers. I know, I know I turned on them, but they talk their talk, and the Brewers never can back it up in the playoffs like they are always first round exits. I'm going with the New York Mets. They are always good, but in the end, they pay a lot of money, just be 500. But they could make the playoffs this year, which I hope they don't. Hold on, Ben, why do you still like Nolan Gorman? Like, why is he the guy you're playing as in the home run derby? Come on, Ben, let's compare him to Christopher Morrell this season. I'm sure Morrell is a thousand times better than Nolan Gorman. Well, I'll compare them, but first I have to finish here so that I can make sure who's better in the derby, Ariana. I also don't want you to go back to back this time. At least she's using someone more relevant, unlike choosing Jordan Alvarez. Speaking of Jordan, the Astros are the team I do hate the most. They are pesky every season, and right now, they are in the thick of it in the Al West race. I'm sure by the end of the season, the damn Astros take the Al West. Well, Ben, I can certainly say that you did pretty well as this guy I have never heard of before. Well, I am disappointed that I only had 12 home runs, but Ariana could do bad as Morel. You never know, Ben. I could do as well as Alec Bohm did in the first round of the actual derby. Ben, when is that comparison of Nolan Gorman and Christopher Morel coming? I am actually interested in seeing their stats. Well, I have them pulled up just now, and it's not good. Come on, Ben, let me see. Oh, well, he is right, everyone. They are both bad. Haley, we are trying to figure out which player is better. I would say Morel, because it looks like to me that he's got pop. How the hell does Christopher Morel have a negative war? He literally has 18 home runs. Well, he is bad defensively. I don't know why I chose him, but I would say that Michael Bush is doing way better than Christopher Morrell. Bush like Bush light? No, Joe. She is talking about Michael Bush, the rookie on the Cubs. Doing pretty well, actually. He was traded from the Dodgers for a couple of prospects. That doesn't answer this question. Who is better, everyone? I'll go with Nolan Gorman, because he has better advanced stats. Well, I'll say the Cubs guy, because he has better stats overall. Hold on, everyone. We got to finish my question first, then Barry's. OK, George, my god, I'll say St. Louis. Their fans just really annoy me. And I hate Oliver Marmel because he got ejected at a game I went to. Did you really go to a game in Milwaukee before you went to the RNC? No. Sorry, I meant the creator saw a Brewers-Cardinals game. Well, Ariana, you're certainly cutting it close. Hope this doesn't end in a tie. Well, it looks like I may lose this first round, so I'm going to say it now. Gigi's Ben and Christopher Morrell is the better player. Gigi's, I guess? That's Cap Ariana. He's not your favorite player. Tell us your real favorite Cubs player. It is. I swear on my heart. Now it's time for me and Haley to face against each other. So um, what do we expect from you, Haley? Um, are you not going to be like Brett and get out of the first round? Don't worry, Donnie. She will advance. I know it. For goodness sake, she's facing against Joe. Don't you want her to beat Joe? My focus is only on Aaron Judge, and that's it. I hate the Dodgers going back to George's question. I just don't like them because all the good players go there and they can't make the World Series. Simply off that reason alone. I'll take the San Francisco Giants. They are that one team I really, really hate and I just can't ignore them due to how historic that franchise has been recently. And I hate Madison Bumgarner, well, cause he's a bum. I don't know if I went yet, but I'll take the Twins. They are irrelevant and act like they are really good and they are not. They are smug and arrogant and I really hate them. I feel like the Guardians show more respect than the Twins and I like Cleveland. I want them to win their division. I'll go with the Yankees. They have the most toxic fans in the MLB in my opinion. They are like the Dallas Cowboys, great regular seasons and yet they disappoint in the playoffs. I agree, the Cowboys suck. 
Well, Haley, what do you think of the Derby? Do you feel like wanting to compete in future years with us? I like it, actually. It's fun, and I get to hang out with two more people. I think I know why she came on the series to begin with. Why do you think, Ben? Why her of all people? She shares Filipino genes with the creator. Not saying they are related, but they are both Filipino. A little personal for the creator, Ben, but it's all right for me, I guess. If anyone is curious, significant celebrities that are Filipino are Bruno Mars, Olivia Rodrigo, and Bella Porch. You know, I always felt like that Olivia would be a perfect fit for the crew. Well, Joe, I don't know if you're going to win this round, bud. I don't like your Kyle Schwarber pick because the amount of time you have left. Well, other than Joe. I did so that I could share an opinion. You good with that, Donald? Sure, I guess. Gunnar Henderson should have not been in the derby. He is not used to balls getting thrown at that speed in a while, but the guy who was throwing to him was rushing him a little so he could get to the 40 pitch threshold before the timer ran out. I'm just gonna say it. But Gunnar's a little overrated right now. I would say that Adley Rutschman is the better player at hitting the long ball. He is cool simply because of the name. I would love to name my son Gunnar. That's if you get a child with Travis Taylor, which seems unlikely, but I don't want to get into it. Man, this is already getting boring. We are still not out of the first round. Can we get to the part where we get to the second round? Because that will go way faster. No, George. I want to make sure we get as many home runs in this video as possible, and that I want this video to go over 20 minutes, which I think it should. I mean, I understand you're excited to play in the second round, but you have to wait. I do want to say that when I watched Finn's video, the guys were solving riddles. Can we not do that, please? Thanks, Taylor. Now I got to do a tiebreaker. How does that work? You get another minute to hit the most home runs again. That's so tedious. I want to do another method to make this go by quicker. But you're batting Haley. Just be patient and hit the most home runs within a minute. And also, I want to add one rule while we're doing this. You cannot call timeout during the tiebreaker round because it's going to slow up the game and it may ice your batter, but don't call timeout. Well, I wasn't going to call timeout anyway, too, Barry. I want to make sure Kyle Schwarber hits the most home runs as possible as fast as he can. Joe, I'm sure that what you said did not grammatically make sense at all. Well, now I think is a good time to tell Taylor what she's been doing the last five months. To start off, I was on my Europe part of the Eras tour, and I got to see many cities for the first time, for example, as I was recently in Italy. And I got to go back to London too, and well, Travis made an appearance at one of my shows, and he did fantastic. I also met some important people, like the royal family and Sophie Turner went to see my show, which was awesome and funny at the same time. Good for you, Joe. Already doing better than last year. Barry, I hope you know that I am rooting for Donnie this round because you're using William Contreras. And he didn't even do anything in the All-Star game. You should be glad you said that, Ariana, because I will win the Derby this time, and I was rightfully screwed out of one last year. The Rangers didn't win the World Series for nothing last year, Donald. Corey Seager and Adolis Garcia had their moments in those games, especially game one. The Phillies were screwed out of a World Series last year, I'm just saying, George. You had it easy, but it would have been different if the Fightins were in the Fall Classic. That is something I always ponder at every day. Barry, I feel like Patrick Mahomes would be a perfect fit for the Derby. You should bring him in sometime within the next couple of years. I watched the videos you all were in, and I feel like it's time that he gets his flowers. Well, if we were to do that, hey, Lee, then we would have to replace you with him. What? Why me? You could replace him with George or Taylor. In fact, Taylor hasn't been on an episode in five months. You're only here because of your boyfriend, girl. Just because I was gone for five months doesn't mean I'm gone forever. You should know better. Patrick should just replace Ben, in my opinion. Real talk, Taylor. Ben can get really annoying most of the time because of his voice. It sounds very stupid. Donald, I have the voice for radio or TV. I believe my voice sounds perfect. I believe it's the opposite of Joe Davis. Man can make a moment give you goosebumps like that Reese Hoskins homer two years ago in the playoffs. Well, if anyone can bring him over to play a game or two with us, then I would like to settle this with an old school debate. Nah, Ben, you gotta do the Donald style debate. It always works every time. Did you see the last debate and how I ripped Joe? I had some good one-liners. We'll see about that, Donald, but now I'm gonna beat you using William Contreras. I highly doubt you'll beat him, Barry. He has no power at all. I think he has a good shot to beat him, but I realistically see him tying the game with Donald. That is not happening, Ben. See, I told you, Barry, and you didn't even get the bonus time. I'm not hating on Contreras, but I am just saying there were better options. But someone has to represent the creator's favorite team, and you sure aren't doing that, Ariana. There's an outside chance I could contribute next year with you, Barry. But let's move on to the next round. Yes, thank goodness we are moving out of the first round. George, if you can win this, which you should, I will never bring up all the weapons of mass destruction ever again. I think he meant that he won't bring it up. 
Donnie, that is bogus. Why would you even put George under all this pressure? It's all right, Ariana. We all talked about this already. Nolan Gorman is a nobody, and I think Morrell was better than him, in my opinion. I'm just going to say this, and I know someone has said that phrase already. In my opinion, as a Brewers fan, I hate the St. Louis Cardinals way more than the Chicago Cubs. Wow, I am honestly surprised to hear you say that, Donnie. Yeah, what makes you say that, Donald? The Cardinals are actually doing good, and I hate teams way more at a certain point when they are good. Like, for example, if the Reds are winning more games and they are climbing up in the division standings, I will hate them way more than I did previously when they were losing. Donald, that is a bogus reason if you think about it. I wouldn't hate the Reds for being good again, and I would never hate on the Reds, especially with Ellie De La Cruz and the new guy on that team. They could be really good in five years. But they will never beat the Rangers. Now it's my turn to get in the final round. I am definitely cheering for you, George, only because I like Adoles Garcia. My bae actually went to see a Rangers postseason game last year. Honestly, why would he even do that during the NFL season? I know the players should have their free time and all that, but going to the World Series is a little crazy in my eyes. Yeah, it's a little crazy, but we definitely need to make future home run derbies shorter next year to just one minute and no timeouts so we can make it easy on the creator. You know what I'm saying? George, I will be completely surprised if you can tie this because Adolis Garcia is not him. He sure is definitely him, Joe. He should even hit more home runs than Nolan Gorman within the time limit I have. I'm not sure about that, George. He is having a down year this season, and I don't know if you even have a chance. Well, he hit seven home runs in a row, which is pretty outstanding, so he does have a chance, Haley. You gotta win this round, George. This is definitely in your favor. Certainly not. He is gonna choke in the final seconds. That's Cap, little Benjamin. It is possible to beat Ben here, but the pressure is on now, George. I agree with Ariana. I do not want to see a tiebreaker here, so either choke or hit more than 13 home runs here. When are we going to do another fantasy football draft? Someone mentioned wanting to do three or at least more than one this season. We'll probably do one in late August, because that's really the best time to draft teams and make predictions on who will do well this season. Damn it, George, you totally had that in the bag. Now you ruined a chance to get into the final round, only because now I think Ben is going to win because of your gameplay. You know it, Ariana. Nolan Gorman is the future for the St. Louis Cardinals. I imagine them being pretty good as long as the key pieces are still there, like Sonny Gray, Nolan Arenado, and Paul Goldschmidt. I really hope Paul Goldschmidt retires soon. He's almost or is 40 years old. I think he was 39 the last time I checked. Oof, can someone tell him, you guys? He is only 36, Donnie. Still got a lot of playing time left in his career. Could still have some silver sluggers as what we saw out of Albert Pujols. Just remember, Ben, no timeouts or I won't have you hit after you call the timeout. No worries, Barry. I remember the rule. I think it does make sense since it is only a minute and that the players usually don't get tired after hitting for about a minute. Same rule applies to you too, George. So, Barry, I don't remember what happens if they tie again somehow. But I do remember that occurrence happening last year. If this does happen, they will get three swings. And if they get the same amount of home runs in three swings, then it will be judged by distance and whoever can get the further home run will advance into the final round. I do think that is going to happen indeed, Barack. God damn it, George, stop tying this round. This is getting ridiculous. Again, I do think that Ben will win this because George is not hitting the baseballs very well. He is hitting under the baseball a lot, which means he gets them far, but not into the stands. Well, getting three homers is tough, but Adalis Garcia can definitely make it possible. Well, looks like Ben is advancing to the final round to no one's shock. Wow. I totally forgot who Donald and Joe were playing as. Guess it goes to show how long it took for Ben and George that round. Well, Ben, who do you want to face in the final round? I would say Donald. He's going to tense up unlike Joe, who just plays loose, and that he has nothing to lose. And I feel like that Kyle Schwarber would be easier to beat. Wow, Ben. Wow. Now you really are asking for it. I wanted to go easy on you since you're using a nobody, but I have reconsidered that now. Guys, did you hear Donnie talk about the Packers at the RNC? The Eagles are better, Ariana. What did he say about the Packers? Anyone else heard about it? I'm really interested. Yes, I did hear that, actually. If anyone is confused, what Ariana is talking about is that the RNC, Donald was praising the city of Milwaukee, and then he shouted out the people of Wisconsin who were wearing cheeseheads to represent the state, and he mentioned the Packers. He said that they are going to have a good team this year. So Donald does know his football. Anyone response to that, Don? Well, I was speaking the truth when I was on stage, like any president would. That's Cap, but go anyway, orange man. Yes, the Packers have a good team. They obviously have Jordan Love and a greatly advertised defense. And I feel like they are going to do wonders this year. We'll just have to wait when we play Madden and if they gave the team the right treatment. 
I honestly liked going to Green Bay as well. It was cold, but as far as I'm concerned, the atmosphere is electric. Speaking for an hour and a half is crazy, Donald. Like, I felt that you had a lot to say and that you were really humble with how you treated the situation on Saturday. Well, Joe can't speak as long as I can because he can only last three minutes, and that's how long the effects on the medicine last. I can speak very well, Orange Goober. Even my memory is as sharp as ever. All right, prove it. What player did Taylor play as in the home run derby today? Come on, Joe, think before you speak. Gosh, um, uh, who was it? Ah, uh, yes, Bibby Watt. This is it, wrong answer, Joe. It was Pete Alonso, Joseph. But good try, at least you named a player. But that player is his favorite, Taylor. Man, Joe, how does it feel to speak so incoherently and have dementia at the same time? It should be bad, Donald. Bro couldn't keep balance on a bike. In fact, he should even operate anything because he's that old. Joe is an interesting character, to say the least. Oh, uh, you gotta give him that fuck to instead of that day to get a Joe, what the fuck did you just say? Joe said the hawk to a meme. Here, I'll say it myself if you didn't hear the first uh, time. No, Haley, we all heard clearly the first time. Oh, I you never give him that fuck to instead of that day to get a Okay, what the fuck was that at the end? Were you like croaking or something? I was laughing, Donald. Do you not understand what laughing sounds like? It sounded like you were making baby noises at the end there. How could you let Joe beat you, Donald? There is no way he just hit 16 home runs in two and a half minutes. Maybe a little foreshadowing before November. <laughs> Joe, if you were using Bobby Witt, then this game would have had a completely different outcome. Well, I am quite certain that the last segment we shared with all of you made us lose a few subscribers to say the least. Why, Ben? What makes you think that? Are you sure that the Hawk Tua meme made us lose subs? Yes, that meme is overused and it is very overrated. Oh gosh, I forgot. Do you all want to hear the story of how I dodged a shoe while in office? No, everyone knows about it. Oh, please, this is going to be a fun story. Not. Just spill the story, George. We all want to hear it. Okay, then. This happened a few weeks before Barack's inauguration, so it was a while ago. Anyway, a man started throwing shoes at me because the Iraqis did not like me, I guess, because of an incident. And I had to duck down to avoid size 10 shoes, and it was skillful for me, I guess. Maybe some people look at it way differently than I do. But when I was interviewed about it, I always said that it didn't phase me at all. It was a really interesting situation to say the least, but the guy got two years in the slammer, and that is that for my story. Well, looking back, the guy had terrible aim, so you didn't have to duck very much, but it's an interesting situation, George. Yep, sharing that story is a waste of time, and I'm pissed that it's during my turn of all people, in the final round especially. I think it was a great story, little Benjamin. I mean, we are close to the end, so everyone except Joe and Ben, who do you got winning the final round? I want everyone to think about this question from Barry. I have Joe winning, actually. If he can beat me, then I want him to beat Ben because Ben is more annoying. Same, I want Joe to win because Ben is using a nobody. I want a Ben to win. He deserves to win with all the crap he gets, like what happened to Ariana last year, and she made sure you all were put in her place. Thanks, George. You're so considerate for that. I want Joseph to win. He's finally using a different player, and it's going to pay off big time. Same here, Taylor. I want him to win because, you know, he's my partner in crime. What? That's no fair. You two went after Ben finished his turn and you two were at an advantage. Ariana, please. No one needs to act like a crybaby so far in this video. I agree with Haley. Ariana, we are almost done with the Derby, and I'm sure you want to get out of here, but we don't need to freak out about Barack and Taylor making their picks after us. I guess you're right. I am a person that usually doesn't complain too much, but I make sure that they try to understand how I feel about certain things. I think I am screwed here. If Joe hits 16 bombs, I'm sure he can hit more than 11 after two and a half minutes. But you never know. Joe can choke harder than the Atlanta Falcons at the Super Bowl. Yeah, he did get the bonus time, so we are a minute away from Ben winning or Joe winning the 2024 Home Run Derby. Honestly, I felt like Mr. Beast should have been at the Home Run Derby. When I mean that, he should have played with us. No, 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 Ariana. He should definitely not step foot in the White House. I would totally let Mr. Beast in the White House if I was the president. Joe. I will cringe at every ball that goes foul or not into the stands, because this is on you if you lose this home run derby. There, Haley just cringed. No, I was so close, but like what Ricky Bobby said, if you ain't first, you're last. Congratulations on a Mickey Mouse win, Sleepy Joe. What, I get to go to Disney World? I don't think so, but congrats, Joseph. I think this is the video the fans will finally give you the recognition you deserve. I 100% agree. Congrats, Joe. GG's Joe. You were a surprise winner in my opinion.
Second place is nothing to scoff at, Ben, especially with Nolan Gorman. I guess I'll sign us off. Thanks to everyone who watched this video, and thank you to the fans, too, for an incredible year it's been for the creator. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.